Hello everybody, my name's Ryan and I'm a driving instructor. Um, today, what's green on the inside and yellow on the outside? So what's green on the inside and yellow on the outside? Well, it's quite easy really. Um, these things, and I'll put a video on here. Yeah, people seem to be not using them as frequently as what they should be. People seem to have stopped indicating quite a lot and I don't know why. It's not no, not just on left or right turns on junctions, but also on roundabouts I've seen it quite a lot recently where people are not signalling off roundabouts. Or they're putting a confusing signal in, they're coming into a roundabout and they're signalling to the right halfway through a roundabout and then going straight on. As if they're trying to tell the driver on the left hand side of them that they're not turning off. Don't understand that really. If you didn't have a signal on on a roundabout, then you've always got to assume that the person on the right hand side, if they aren't indicating, are coming towards you anyway. I don't quite get it. Maybe somebody in the comments can tell me why it's green on the display and amber or yellow on the outside and why people are not signalling. I think it's just being lazy. I think people are genuinely being lazy. So I think that people think these things on the side of the car are just empty boxes that they don't do anything that they're just boxes that they're looking at that are full of electronics that you can press a button and move them around because most of them are electronic some of them have indicators built into them um you very rarely get manual ones anymore but people forget the purpose of actually looking in that bit of glass that you're not just checking for people you're checking your position in the road you could be checking to see if it's safe to come back to left or right and I think it's related to that signal. Most people mirror signal manoeuvre, kind of just slap a signal on. doesn't matter. Don't care if something isn't there. doesn't matter if anything isn't there. I don't really care. But you should care. That's the point. You should care. You should be telling other people, other road users, where you're going on the road. I'm going to show you a video that was recorded um, just actually today when I filmed this. Um, this is a good example of um, me being in the car. I wasn't really phased by this at all. It wasn't really something I was particularly bothered by. I'm sticking to the limit, which is 40. Um, and based on frame rate, I've got this truck that's overtaken me and I'll put the speed somewhere over here based on frame rate. Um, and you'll be able to see from that that he's overtaking a marked learner car, a car with stickers on, L plates all over it. Now, I didn't necessarily mind so much that somebody overtook me while I'm doing the legal speed limit. That wasn't the issue. I can't speed up because that's 40 and a 40. You can see that from the video, you can see that from the signs. I wasn't really all that phased that he's then speeding, but this person is a professional truck driver. This guy has passed a C1 test that allows him to drive these massive trucks on the road. And also he's got his CPC. His CPC is certificate um, to allow him to drive commercially on the road. That means that he's done training at least once a year um, to get his badge. I've got one because I was a bus driver. Mine naturally expires next year. Um, and once that expires, I can't renew it because I won't have done any of the training. But this person does. The thing that bothered me the most wasn't just the speeding, or maybe on his dials he's going 44. Is that technically speeding? Well, I suppose it's exceeding the limit, yeah. But it's the fact that he comes back to left and... I know it's a camera angle, and it looks like oh, he's dead far away there. Right, right, it wasn't a problem, he was dead far away. It was actually closer than what you think he was, but he didn't signal. Now, normally that doesn't sort of bother me, but in thinking about this actual video, I was thinking, well, professional driver should signal, surely. That professional driver is then coming back in front of me. Surely he's got to tell people on the road what's happening. Does that mean that he hasn't checked his mirrors? Now, he hasn't got a rear view mirror because he's a truck. He's got left and right mirrors. He's got big mirrors down the side that allow him to check the position of the vehicle on the road and identify what is behind him using those mirrors. So if he hasn't checked the mirrors, how does he know 
that there's anything behind him. Well, he doesn't. How does he know where I am? Well, he's got to use that giant mirror on the side of his truck. How did he check it? <sighs> Don't know. No idea. Can't answer that. Don't know the answer to that. Can't possibly know the answer to that. He didn't put his signal on, though. But even if he has checked his mirror, doesn't really necessarily have to signal, and I'm waiting for people to say that. Oh, he doesn't really have to signal. Yeah, I know he doesn't. I'm a driving instructor, I know that. But shouldn't he signal? Professional truck driver. Shouldn't he be telling people that he's moving lanes in a dual carriageway? That he's crossing a white line in the road? Yeah, probably. If you're crossing any line, any white line, any solid line, a solid line is basically telling you you need permission. So the edge of a carriageway, for example, you wouldn't cross it because you're going to drive on the grass. But a solid line on a traffic light, you're waiting for the traffic light to change a stop sign. You're waiting to stop at that line. That's a solid line. Any stripy line on the road, then you should give way. You should prepare to give way. You should keep going if the way is clear. But you should look, assess, decide and act. So you're making a decision when you get to that line. A carriageway marker down the middle of the road, a stripy line, is literally that. It's also telling you that you must give way if you are moving back to the left. Now, he didn't necessarily need to give way. That's not what I'm saying here. He didn't need to give way to me as a driver driving down the road. What he did do is he should have at least given me the common courtesy to put his signal on. Professional driver. Well, apart from the light messing me up today, I don't know what's going on today. Um, it's going to snow, apparently, or it's already snowed by the time this video's gone out. So if it snowed in your area, I hope it wasn't too bad. I hope you weren't affected too much by the weather. So what about this signalling, then? Do you think you should signal? Probably should. I don't want you. I don't want people signalling everywhere. That's not the point of this. This is just giving somebody a common courtesy on a roundabout, or when they're moving back to the left on a dual carriageway or a highway, that they're doing the right thing and they're following their routines. Because you should. It makes sense. Why not? On another note, today we saw when we were parked at the side of the road <coughs> over in Blythe particularly difficult junction um, a video that I put on um, quite a few weeks ago and somebody complained about it and turned into a Karen, Karen video somewhere um, when she did that uh, we saw somebody do something very similar today on a driving test they had the examiner in the car and it was very unfortunate but they went over a curb now I'm not going to put that video on because that's not my right to do that um, because that's them on a driving test and that would be like super personal um, yeah, unfortunate they came around the corner and somebody's come in the other direction and they just didn't know where to go and ended up going in the middle of the road, over the white line, then over the pavement, then back over the middle of the road and you just thought, oh, yeah, that's fair. Like, subscribe, follow, whatever. Enjoy your weekend and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. So if you like what I do, like, subscribe, become a member if you want to. You might see this video early if you become a member. You see it a few days early. There's no really incentive other than seeing this and a few confessional videos that people like.